everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to make berry puree. It's a great recipe because it's sweet and you can use it in so many different ways. Like, you can add it to some seltzer water, mix it together to make berry seltzer. Um, you can add it to yogurt or as an ice cream topping or to your oatmeal or you can use it as a jam on your PB&J. So a lot of different uses for it. Um, and now I'm going to show you um, the ingredients you'll need to make it. And first you'll need um, a cup of, um, I'm using frozen berries, but you can use fresh berries if you want. Um, and the ones I'm using are raspberries, blackberries, and blueberries. So a cup of that going to need a tablespoon of honey um, mixed with a tablespoon of water, although you add more water to it later on, so you'll need a bit of water. And um, you'll also need a pot to heat up the berries and the honey mixture. And you'll need either a food processor or a blender to blend it all together. Oh, and this is optional, but if you have it fresh time, um, you can use that as well. Okay, let's get started. Okay, first I'm going to add my cup of berries into the pot. Okay. And then I'll add in a tablespoon of honey. just to add a little extra sweetness. Okay. It looks so good. Okay, and then going to add a tablespoon of water. And about a teaspoon or so of thyme leaves, which is optional, of course. Now, um, have a parent or adult nearby to help you with this. If you don't want to burn the berries or hurt yourself, um, but turn your stove on to medium heat. And keep a close eye on it. And you're going to let it simmer for about five minutes or until the berries start to soften. And you can use a spatula or spoon to stir them around. And you can always add another tablespoon or so of water if you feel like they're getting too hot. looks now. Some berries are starting to melt, or the juice is <laughs> coming out of them. Mm. 
batteries are ready. So you can see. Now I'm going to put them in the food processor. you're going to add three more tablespoons of water. on your blender or your food processor and blend it until it's smooth. Next, you're going to need a seed like this to get all the seeds out. So, pour your berries in here, right into the sieve, and it should be over a bowl like this. Okay, now what you'll do is you can use a spatula or a spoon and just press into the sieve. So you press all the liquid out and the, bear, the seeds from the berries um, won't go in your puree. See, this mixture is free of seeds. They're all stuck in here. leftover seeds and now we have a delicious berry puree okay 
I hope you guys had fun making your berry puree at home and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.